RFA is radio frequency ablation procedure that treats venous reflux in the superficial venous system, which is the underlying cause of painful varicose veins in the lower extremities. The aim of this procedure is to stop the backward flow of blood in the lower extremities. Several million patients have been treated with RFA worldwide. It's a proven and reliable system to treat venous reflux disease in the lower extremities. RFA procedure can be safely done in a physician's office. It is usually an outpatient procedure that usually takes approximately 20 minutes. The procedure is done with the use of ultrasound. The physician will position the catheter into the diseased vein through a small opening in the skin, which is usually achieved with a needle. The small catheter delivers heat to the vein wall, causing it to shrink and eventually close. Once a diseased vein is closed, blood will reroute itself to other healthy veins. To avoid any discomfort or after the procedure, the physician typically will inject a local anesthesia under the skin adjacent to the treated vein. Following the procedure, a simple bandage is placed over the treated site. We encourage you to walk after the procedure to reduce the discomfort and to promote healing. The average patient can resume normal activities in a few days. RFA produces heat to close the diseased vein, which is uncomfortable unless the area around the vein is anesthetized with the local anesthetic. This is usually done with multiple injections throughout the length of the treated vein. Another limitation of the RFA is that it can not treat the whole length of the vein below the knee because there is a risk of potential damage to the adjacent nerve. RFA procedure is covered by most insurance providers for patients diagnosed with venous reflux disease. The success rate of closing permanently the diseased vein with this treatment is very close to 100%. If you are interested in any additional information or you would like to schedule an appointment, please contact the Texas Heart Institute Center for Cardiovascular Care.